Welcome everyone and welcome back to the Scene News. This is your host, Kizer, with the co-host, I'll introduce you myself, Rehab. Today, we bring to all of you something a little different. We'll be digging into a topic not well known to a lot of children, space exploration. People have been exploring planets for over 60 years. And most of the planets in our solar system have not been explored, even the ones at great distance. So, today we have 72 existing space agencies, and the most covered being NASA and Sapaco. But let me remind you that most of the exploration was also done by NASA, which began in 1977. Space exploration started a long, long time ago, when any of us youngsters were even born. The first ever space mission was launched on the 4th of October, 1957. The Soviets launched the first ever artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, into space. The first successful human spaceflight was also launched by the Soviets. The Soviets sent Yuri Gagarin to orbit the Earth in the Vostok 1. The successful flight lasted for about 108 minutes and he reached an altitude of 327 kilometers. But talking about space objects, they're the most spectacular ones. Pulse stars. Pulse stars can spin around impressively 700 times per second, which is way too fast for a human eye. What fascinates me the most is the courage and determination of the astronauts who not only leave their cities but their planet far, far away from humans' existence to explore the seemingly never-ending space for months and months. These astronauts were also once young children like us. And this tells us that goals can be achieved with dedication and strength. Did you know that the longest time spent by a female in space is 328 days? And the longest successful male space flight lasted for 437 days? Wow, the sure is a lot. All this makes me wonder how life is up in space. Astronauts first fly to the International Space Station from Earth. It is located about 408 kilometers above Earth and it takes space shuttles around 24 hours to reach it. The International Space Station orbits the Earth in 93 minutes, completing roughly 15.5 orbits per day. It is said that people on Earth age slower than people on space because the closer you are to gravity, the slower time passes. But that depends on what you're doing on space. This is because time can appear to move faster or slower to us, depending on our speed and position relative to those on Earth. Wow! Sounds interesting! And hearing about this fascinating, constantly orbiting International Space Station, I'm sure that many of you will be wondering, how does a Muslim astronaut pray in space? And how does he or she locate the position of Mecca when it's changing minute to minute? <laughs> As we all know, the Quran says that a Muslim must pray five times a day. In Al-Baqarah, Muslims are asked to turn their faces towards the sacred mosque. Wherever you are, turn your faces towards it. Following the literal meaning of the Quran, astronauts on the International Space Station will have to pray 80 times in a day 
as the orbiting space station enables them to view 16 sunsets and sunrises in a period of 24 hours. To clear all that from Muslim space travelers, a group of Islamic scholars compiled a book which says that Muslim astronauts are instructed to pray according to the day cycle of the last place on Earth they were located. As for locating Makkah to face the Qibla while praying, it says that a Muslim astronaut is simply asked to use their best judgment as long as a real attempt is made. Allah Almighty is present everywhere. We, as His faithful people, have to worship Him always. Whether we are sitting at home or traveling near the speed of light in space. Since the start of space explorations, people have created a lot of weird ideas about space, which may also be called myths, many of which you guys may already heard before. To clear all misunderstandings about space, we're going to be having a myth-busting session. The first misunderstanding, which has been made into a fact by stories and animations, is that the sun is yellow. It may appear to give out rays of yellow and orange light, but actually, light the sun gives out is white. It seems like a wonderful array of warm tones, but that is actually a trick of gases present in the atmosphere. The second most talked about myth says reading into stars and planets can predict your future. Though it has not been scientifically proven, and no scientific investigations have been able to back up any predictions made through horoscopes. Moreover, predicting the future through stars and planets is clearly sure. Another myth spoken about very often is that the only man-made structure that is visible from space is the Great Wall of China? That's not true as it depends on where you believe the Earth starts from. From the International Space Station, you can see along with the Great Wall of China, many other man-made structures. Satellites that orbit even closer than the International Space Station can view even more than that. But from the moon, nothing except for dim glow of the city light is visible. With new facts shared and all misunderstandings cleared, I'm sure this episode enhanced your knowledge when it comes to space exploration a great deal. That is all for today. Friends, you can download the Jin TV app on Play Store. Go to our website and subscribe to all your favorite shows and get the notification of all new episodes. Jazakallah for tuning in to C News. Allah Hafiz.